see down there. Drama? This one's already missing a leg. <laughs> Less of him to kill. You do it. I don't have a gun. Don't need one. Use your night boots. Crush his skull and be done with it. No, please. Drama, don't. I saved you from Arlen. Uh, I never wanted Maya to die. I need help. Virgil! Virgil, open the door! Captain, you're alive? I hooked him up to the auto dock. He seems stable, but he needs attention. Um, we should... We should check his vitals then. What's wrong? They're gonna take me away. The pirates, they'll turn me over to the UNN or the OPA. Once they take the ship, they'll- If they take the ship. We can fight them off, but we need- The OPA? Why would they want you? The OPA has a standing kill order for any soldier that was present on- Anderson Station. I understand your anger. Do you? You were at Anderson fucking Station! You were a soldier in the greatest massacre in the history of the Belt, and you hid it from me! Gah! Give me one reason I shouldn't leave you here to fend for yourself! You should. You need to help the rest of your crew, and I'm no use to you like this. Leave me. I don't have time for this. But I don't think I can make it through this without you either. A 
All that matters is getting through this attack. And I need my medic for that. If you had a patient who was panicking, what would you do to help them? I'd recommend some deep breaths. Maybe brew some tea. But deep breaths to start, I suppose. What else? I'd speak softly, use a non-judgmental tone, and try to project an attitude of safety and security. Everything's going to be just fine. Captain, I may be panicking, but I'm not insane. Okay. What would you do next? Well, first, I'd assess the patient's fears, try to get to the heart of what's keeping them in an agitated state. You don't want to lose your head, like the soldiers on the Oshinabi. Once the pirates find out the truth about me, death will be the least of my problems. What next? Reframing the situation. Often it helps to introduce favorable outcomes to concretize obtainable constructive So think positively. Course. In short, yes. Once we are through with this, you can go back to being a medic. Your past will stay between us. You can keep living in the belt. You'd let me remain a medic after- You're not just a medic. You're the one who makes kibble for the rest of us. You take care of the crew, Virgil. Help me save them, and you can keep doing it. Thank you, Captain. Captain, thank you for your insights. I should... I should help you regroup with the rest of the crew. Just as soon as I catch my breath. You're doing great, Virgil. Just... Stay here. Yes. Yes, of course. I, I just... I just need a little time. Khan? Are you okay? <laughs> Looks like she handled it. Took you long enough. I blew my cover. They're sending another boarding party. Almost here. Ah! You're hurt. I'm ecstatic. You sent more pirates to kill. Drummer. You shouldn't have. They'll send more this time. Good thing we already have a plan for pirate attacks. Fuck yes. Don't miss your shot.
Don't shoot. I surrender. Thought you could double cross us, Adrama. Take us to the core. Now. Of course. I know right where it's hidden. There are no secrets on board the Artemis. Ah! Eat shit, cunt fuckers! Let me see. There's no point. I just wanted to take the rest of them with me before. <clears throat> Come on. We need to get you to Virgil. Good flying with you. I'm going to kill a lot more pirates for you before this is over. I promise. Coming for you. Arlen is in the cargo bay with the MK core. Firing at the Artemis was risky, but I knew the crew could handle it. They didn't let me down. Even if I do survive the pirates and Arlen, I'll need to find a way off this ship before it falls apart.
something to shoot me in the back? Eh, drama? It's better than a Pashangwala like you deserves. Still thinking you're better than me? That's your problem. That's why you lose. You turn your back on me and Baratna. Just like you turn your back on Dawes and the OPA. You think you're better, Lada Arlen? No. You're just another murderous thug. Shut up. That's why the OPA rejected you. They saw you for the crazy Owala you are. Enough. even now, got it? Now finish up with him and let's get the hell out of here, Captain. She was more of a belter than you'll ever be. She didn't have to die. Why? 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 Trouble with your crew, Captain. I have the MK core. Put a bullet in this bitch's head, and we can split the profit. <laughs> I wonder, Kamina Drummer, do you believe in grace? I do. It's what sustained me in that wretched cave the Inyas locked me in. It's what binds me and my crew together as family. And this one at this moment gives me pause from killing you. When a weaker, pettier person will savor the opportunity. But grace must be earned. Oh! Convince me your life matters, and I will let you live. I fight for the people of the belt. Why? Because it's what's right. Because it's what keeps me from going big pigal. My anger either pushes me or pulls me apart. Without something to fight for, I am nothing. Don't you see how we're meant to be together? Kindred spirits. Two bodies in the same orbit. Finally we meet and you want to squander it all? How much time have you wasted serving inadequate men? Or trying to fight every battle by yourself? Circumstances set us against each other. But we are not victim to circumstance. Even now, after all the blood between us, we can seize this chance to build a new future together. 
You want to serve the belt? With our money, we can build a fleet to fight the Inyas, put bounties on their heads, and make sure they never touch us. Our buyer will make us wealthy enough that we can build our own system if we want, and make sure we are always protected. Who is your buyer? It's a private company. There are no private companies in the belt. Is it Checkman? Royal Charter? It doesn't matter. One rich j or another. They're all the same. What matters is what we do with it. <laughs> you think you can trust the Inners? That they will hand you money and leave you alone? You're insane. And you're a fool with no vision. Pity. Captain Drummer. Drummer, this is Julie Mao. You've held up your end of the bargain, and now I've held up mine. All the pirates on board the Europa Spain are dead. No. Yeah, look, this is an open broadcast, so I don't know if you're hearing me or who else is. But your crew is on board and I have the Artemis on target lock. If I don't receive a response from you soon, I will assume the ship has gone hostile and blow it to shit. Good luck. I'd offer you everything. You have nothing to offer me. I fight for the belt. Ready torpedoes! Drummer. Captain, are you there? I'm here. I'm on the hull. She's alive! <sighs> Stay right there. I'll be out to assist you. You're safe now, Captain. We're all safe.
Nearing Ceres Station, Captain. Are you sure we're cleared for approach? We're clear. Dawes controls the docks. And he's decided to lift the bounty on me and play nice. For now, at least. Captain Drummer. Drummer. We're almost there. Which means it's almost too late. I know. Did you at least listen to the message? No need. I know my answer. <laughs> Look, I'm heading to Ceres because that's where my contacts are. And it's where a girl with some basic wrenching skills can do a little good. What's there for you anymore? It's my home. I can't keep running from it. I know fuck all about the belt. But I do know the difference between a foot soldier and a leader. Just hear him out. You never know, right? Drummer, this is Fred Johnson. I believe the last time we met, you were holding a gun to my head. But what's past is past. I think you'd agree. I understand you are returning to Ceres. I am calling to offer you an alternative. I do not claim to speak for the belt. Any person who would do so is as foolish as they are dangerous. The belt is a fractious, toilsome tinderbox, a graveyard of ideals and ambition. It is also, I believe, the last great hope for humankind. The inners have forgotten how to build. Their focus is on killing each other and controlling belters. I know this firsthand. But belters are builders. We forge new worlds out of rock and metal. It doesn't matter where we came from or the demons in our past. It only matters what we can contribute right now. I know that you have suffered and lost and that through it all, you never forgot what you were fighting for. That is why I need you here on Tycho as my partner for a new OPA. Come speak with me. See what I am building. You have much to contribute, drummer. Don't let it be wasted. Damn it. Change coordinates. We're making a stop at Tycho Station. Of course, Captain. May I ask, what is on Tycho? Let's find out. 